Today we will briefly discuss how to set up the 843-R and 843-R-USB power meters for single shot pulsed energy measurements with thermal pile detectors. For a more in-depth discussion on this topic, please see the 843-R power meter manual, which can be downloaded from the Newport.com website. In this video, we will assume that you have already done the basic power meter setup discussed in the introduction to the 843-R video. The 843-R is directly compatible with the 919P series thermal pile detectors. Although thermal pile sensors are primarily used to measure power, they can also be used to measure single shot pulse energy. The response time of the sensor may be slow, but there is no limit to how short the pulses measured are since it is a measurement of the heat flowing through the sensor disk of the detector after the pulse that is measured. The 843-R can measure individual single shot pulses every 5 seconds when used with thermal pile detectors. To ensure the best measurement accuracy, center the laser beam carefully on the center of the active surface area of the detector. The laser beam should be at 90 degrees to the face of the detector. You have a choice of two different display modes for reading energy on an 843-R meter numerical with needle, or numerical with bar graph. Use the mode button and the down arrow to select the measurement type. For a pulsed energy measurement with a thermal pile detector, select energy, then press OK. Now select the wavelength you will be working at. From the measurement screen, press the setup key. Then press the down arrow until the laser menu selection is highlighted, and then press the enter arrow. Select the desired wavelength and press the OK button. Next, select the required energy range for the energy measurement. Use the down arrow to highlight the range menu selection and press the enter arrow. Energy measurement is always done in the manual range setting. If the 843-R will be used in a thermally noisy environment, where the detector may trigger on background thermal radiation that would cause the power meter to fail to read the intended pulse energy, you may wish to set a minimum threshold energy by using the enter and down arrow buttons. The minimum threshold energy is typically set to 0.3% of the full scale of the selected range. If this range is found to be too sensitive for your particular environment, you can change the setting. However, you should not raise the threshold higher than needed as this can cause a degradation in the accuracy of the pulse energy measurements. The default factory setting for the energy threshold is medium. If the 843-R triggers on noise at this setting, set the threshold to high. If you are using small energies and the meter does not trigger at the default setting, set the threshold to low. When you have made your selection, press OK. The above settings will automatically be saved for the next time the 843-R is used. To take a measurement of a single pulse, wait until READY is flashed on the screen. Fire the laser. The display will go blank for about 2-4 to four seconds while the energy is being integrated. The pulse energy will then be displayed. Wait for the READY indicator before taking the next measurement. If you fire another pulse before the meter is READY, the reading will be inaccurate or will not be displayed. Congratulations! Your 843-R series power meter is now configured to take a single shot pulsed energy measurement.